Happy New Year, everybody. So today, I picked up a package from my P.O. box sent to me once again from my good friend Kat in San Francisco. Hey Kat, I got the box as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing. So I think this actually is the um, yearly swap that we do. Well, we actually probably do more than one swap, but generally it's around Christmas time that we that will swap boxes and the you know the stuff that's in the box it could be anything it could be craft related it could be clothing it could be whatever that you know we think that the other is going to like so uh, let's go ahead and get this off it's a pretty stuffed box I was pretty surprised when I picked it up at the post office it was um thankfully they didn't have it behind the counter they left the key inside the um my p.o box so all i had to do was just go and get it out of one of the lock boxes so all right so i think i'm just going to leave the plastic on and then just open it up i don't know where my box cutter is so i'm going to be careful here there we go spin this around and open this side okay <clears throat> Let's hope that I didn't oh, cut anything. Okay, good. I did not. Ugh. My goodness, cat, you really stuffed this. <laughs> Can't wait to see what's inside. Okay, let's take this tape out. Oh boy. All right, so first thing that we got in here ooh, is a tote bag. It says, <laughs> Dotson Through the Snow. How cute, from the Cotton On Foundation. Oh, she got this for me from Cotton On. We don't have a Cotton On here in um, Memphis. How cute. I like that it's a very, um, it's not big. It's, you know, it's just the right size. So if I wanted to bring my lunch or something like that, I could use this. But maybe I'll use it around Christmas time. Okay or rather next Christmas. So let's see what we have here. Wow, this is really stuffed. It's another tote, okay. It says, we are friends. From Daiso, another cotton tote. Ooh, cactus and hedgehog, because they're both prickly. So what is inside? Ah, this is the blanket that she got. She had purchased um, a couple of Mido gift bags earlier, I think it was in the summertime, and she got one for me and opened it on camera for me. And, oh, okay. This was uh, the blanket. <gasps> I love it. It's Although it's not my favorite dog, I'm not really fond of French Bulldogs, but I don't care, I like it. It's so soft and definitely gonna keep me warm if I'm watching TV or taking a nap in the living room downstairs. So, sorry, I'm just folding it here off camera. I like it. It's so soft. Okay, see, so let's see what's in here. This was an ornament that was in there Looks like <laughs> another kind of dog that I'm not fond of. Wait a minute, this is not a, uh, I think this is a pug. Let me hold this up and focus. Focus. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Okay, there we go. But it doesn't matter, it's a cute ornament and I will still put this up on the tree. This was a $8.95, this probably came with the, um, stuff from the Mido gift bags, surprise gift bags. So let's see what else we got out. Ooh, Daiso design paper. You could use this for, actually you probably could use this for origami, but I don't care. It's still really cute. Look at that. Here are the different designs. Let's focus. Okay. More design paper or origami paper. I'm trying to get the glare out of the way. Okay. 
I'm just pulling from the side here. Ooh, I like this one because this one is um, tropical related. I can use this in my Philippine um, insert that I still need to finish from my last trip back in 2017. Yeah, I haven't finished it. Um, got some stamps, spell cast. I like this because it's not overly Halloween-ish, you know? Oh, that one's cute. I like this one for sure because I like him. Okay, and that's from Pebbles. So what else we got here? Ooh, we got some Daiso Washi, which is always good. Okay. Oh, this one you can color. Printable stamp style tape. That's cute. I like those designs. Let me try to get closer. There we go. You can see. That's really cute, Cat. Oh my gosh, she got me royal milk tea. Yay! I miss this. I miss drinking this. I miss getting it out of the vending machine in Japan. She got me one, two, three, four, five. Five packs of royal milk tea. Look at that. So is there, oh, there's, so I guess there's three sachets in them. Yeah, I can, I think so. Oh, I can't wait to drink this, especially with it now being colder. Oh, oh, I can't believe she got this. I, I've been having her look and look and look for these for me over in um, Daiso because I did pick some up when I was in Japan but they were the tube type and these are my all-time favorite like makeup cosmetic thing this is the eyebrow coat now i have very very light to almost no eyebrows so i always have to fill in my brows and i don't use um pencil i use actually loose powder specifically eyebrow powder and i used to use bare essentials brow powder but they discontinued it so i was able to find another um brand that makes something similar that um they sell they have it they sell it on their website but i purchase it from amazon it's um called beauty something but anyways um i use that powder but the problem is i have to um coat i have to cover i have to seal the brow powder so that it doesn't smear all over my face oh dear my battery is about to die so let me go ahead and pause this and i'll be right back And I'm back. Okay, so now that the battery is charged up. So anyways, so when I went to Japan, I did purchase a bunch of these eyebrow coat um, tubes, but you know, I've still, I've always wanted to keep like at least, I would say 20 of these on hand because they're so hard to find. And um, I always have Kat look for them when she's at Daiso in San Francisco and lo and behold, she was able to find it at a Daiso somewhere in the Bay Area. So she sent me three and I'm so happy that she was able to find these because like I said, it's really hard to find them. There's only one other product here in the US that um, is similar and it's called Model in a Bottle. So like I said, um, you apply this over your brow powder and it seals it so that um, the powder does not come off even when you touch it, even if you get your face wet, the only way you get it off is if you uh, basically just wash it off with soap. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Kat. <laughs> All right, so let's see what this is. It's funny, you know, I just realized that I didn't buy any of the ornaments from Starbucks this year. I um, mean, I always collect the ornaments so that reminds me, I need to definitely go to mine and see if they have any more left. So thanks, Kat. Oh, wow. They've got a special San Francisco one. I am so happy you sent this one to me because, for one, like I said, I forgot to buy some this year. And this one is, this is so cute. Okay, so... I'll go ahead and put that down here. All right. She sent me another washi, and this one is by BGM. Oops, I don't want the. 
And it looks like it's just different symbols. Got some flare buttons here. Um, these are from Echo Park. Can't take the box out of the way here so I can fit everything else. Okay, what else we got here? Lavender. Looks like it's a, a potpourri um, sachet. It smells really good. It definitely is lavender. Okay. She sent me a cotton on um, mask that was $2. Oh, wait a minute. This is from Daiso. I thought it might have been from cotton on, but it's not. So let's see. It's really cute. It's taking me so long to take get it out of the bag here off camera okay it's a little kitty cat face yeah these are cute it's um it feels like it's it says it's three layer no two layers two layer yeah it is it's two layers that's cute definitely like it all right so put that there Pumpkin pie, pumpkin sugar pie, Seattle Seed Company. These are seeds. I think this came from the, um, whatchamacallit bag, the surprise grab bag. I've got catnip, hilarious. And birthday candles, always come in handy. Oh yeah, she sent me these um, typecast uh, stickers. I just need to get the uh, stupid uh, typewriter fixed. Pajama Moon. Looks like it's a little coloring book. Aww. Cute. Okay, what's this? This is by, it's an eight leaf crown by Mary Mary. How cute. Not sure what I'd wear it with, but it's cute. And she also included some um, tissue paper by Anna Griffin. I think that also came from the grab, grab bag, or surprise bag. And that's it, box is empty. So that is what Kat sent me, and I am pretty happy with all of this stuff. Um, I'm probably gonna go and make me some milk tea, can't wait. All right, so I hope everybody had a really good New Year's, and I hope that you all are safe and sound. Until the next video, bye.